Azar. And Diaz Prieto in third. Well, this competition could get very interesting indeed as the rounds move on. We're into the optional dives now. So three rounds of higher tar tariff diving. Espinosa and Diaz Prieto start with this inward three and a half somersaults in the tuck position. They have a good degree of difficulty in their whole program. Can they make it count? Oh, unlucky. Diaz Prieto washing right over. Didn't see the entry at all. Completely rolled on the entry. And that's a, a poor miss. Even with a greater degree of difficulty, you can't miss a dive like this. Synchronisation is not too bad at the first part, but then as Espinosa pulls in, she increases her rotation, and she gets to the triple ahead of Diaz Prieto, and Prieto just misses it completely on the end. 67-2-0, that DD will keep the score slightly elevated. That'll give them some protection but it's not the scoring that they need if they're going to really attack that gold medal spot, and they know it. So Chen and Jia will be aware in the back of their minds what has just happened. They know there's a chance to open up a bigger gap. Forward three and a half. Yeah, that's absolutely fine from China. There's a couple of things going on with the synchro dive. One is the distance, and Chen was just a little further out than Jia. But look at the spin, they're around at the same time. If you watch the peak of each somersault, the feet are coming around each at the same time there. So the timing on the spin synchronization was very good. She has to scoop her entry because she's just a little bit short of vertical. 70.20, that's solid. Taking them to 17460 after three rounds. They're already laying down a marker for the rest of the field. Once again, the crowd will attempt to help Coltanova and Goncharova as much as they can. Oh, that's nice on the entries. Just a little bit ragged on synchronisation, but it's a good dive overall. Yeah, just five points behind. As long as they hold steady before getting into their high degree of difficulty, then they'll be in for a chance of that gold medal. Colton over with just a slightly tighter entry, but going out further than the teammate. 67.50 keeps them on track. Colton over, remember, finished the competition the other day. Took gold, but in floods of tears, and it was tears of pain, not joy. That arm heavily strapped today, really giving her pain then. Let's hope that recovers and is fine for the World Championships. Jasmine and Cam then with their third round dive. Very low tariff for this one, just a straightforward reverse dive. So, gradually building to something else. But important, Chris, you don't rush divers too quickly to dives they can't do. No, it's better to perform the easy dives well and only move on to those difficult dives when you've mastered them. Well, this is a miss. Timing out. Now, if we're looking side on, then uh, Cam had the best distance. She was pretty much the right distance, but uh, Jasmine just out too far. A little bit bendy going through the water. Yeah, it was a very confident dive, actually, by Cam. Unfortunately, the pair not able to put it together. Tweedy McCready. Blew it a little bit in the last round, but... Again, with those lower tariffs, you do damage, but you can recover it with some big dives. So McCrady furthest away from the camera still. And uh, back two and a half somersault in the pike position. Divers do change as the rounds go on. My apologies, forward three and a half. Oh, dear. Purdy uh, really missed the takeoff, didn't get the dive moving, and it just died on the end. Also using the towel for a little bit of extra grip. Well, the synchronization is out there. Slightly better dive, McCrady. But uh, Twerdy, as she hits the water, is very, very short of vertical. If she'd done a scoop underwater, that might have lifted her legs up a little. But we're under 60 points. That's a very bad miss for the Americans. 53-1-0. Brazil to finish off our third round. And with two and a half in the pike position.
Yes, nice effort from Brazil. They didn't do a lot wrong the other day in the three-metre synchro either. No, it's good distance. The feet weren't too close to the board as they're spinning on the first somersault, so the jump back was just spot on. Good timing. Well, you can tell they really worked on their synchronisation. They look the same from the side, coming out in the same style, just haven't got the tight bodies to disappear like the Russians and the Chinese. 60.48, second pair of twins we've had diving today after the Farheims of Norway in the men's three-metre springboard competition. And that's how things stand after three rounds. Chen and Jia still lead for China, and that's quite a healthy lead over Colton.